Hi there, and welcome to Murat's Kitchen. It's so great to have you here, and I can't wait to show you what I'm making today. It's the epitome of summer food. I love grilled foods, as a lot of my friends and family do, and I would love to share this recipe with you. It's easy to make, it only requires a few ingredients, and my philosophy is less ingredients, and it's in the technique of how you prepare something will ultimately give you that final taste. And of course, presentation has a lot to do with how people perceive the taste of something also. So let me show you how we make our kebabs today. We're gonna serve that with our marinated torpedo uh, onions and uh, grilled pita with za'atar. I can't wait to show you. Let's get to it. Let's marinate our red onion slices to go over our kebabs. Let me show you how we do it. We're going to add half a cup of water, half a cup of red wine vinegar, a third cup of sugar, and one tablespoon of salt, all into a small saucepan. And we're gonna heat that together until the salt and the sugar is dissolved. Now let's slice the onion. After your red wine, sugar and salt mixture is slightly cooled, you can pour that on top of your red onions. Do your best to do your best to submerge all the onions under the liquid and let it sit at room temperature until it's completely cooled. Afterwards you can cover it and put it in the fridge for up to about two weeks and use it for your kebabs. We're going to start our ground beef kebabs with two pounds of ground beef. We're going to chop up some flat leaf parsley. Okay, our parsley is done. Now we're going to add that to our ground beef. Next, we're going to grate our white onion. Now I'm going to add half a tablespoon of black pepper. and half a tablespoon of salt. And we're simply gonna mix all that together now. Don't over mix ground beef. It is a protein and it tends to get very hard and uh, your final product will be tough if you don't mix it in gently. So never over mix ground beef just enough to incorporate all the ingredients and mix thoroughly throughout. I'm going to use metal skewers. That's the traditional way. You can use, of course, wooden skewers. Just make sure that you soak the wooden skewers for a couple of hours because they otherwise tend to burn quite quickly when you put them over the grill. Now, as you can see, I'm not measuring, not weighing the, the beef kebabs. Simply can just eye it. You can make it as small as or as large or as long, or you can make several small kebabs, it's up to you. This is the traditional way. Now you don't want to put too much meat. If it's too heavy, it does tend to fall off the skewer. The weight of the meat uh, pulls it down and off the skewer. So you want to you want to put just enough meat so it doesn't follow the skewer. And as you can see, I'm thinning it out, but I'm also pushing it down the skewer and that's what you want. So you just have to be gentle. Juicy, delicious, and perfectly grilled. This is exactly how you'd like them to look. Our 
Okay, our kebabs are ready and all our side ingredients are ready to go as well. We have the marinated red uh, torpedo onion that we made earlier, kebab, pita, some fresh tomatoes. In the final presentation, you can serve this with rice or potatoes or just simply with a few fresh tomatoes, just like this, with some marinated uh, torpedo or red onions. Just right on top like this. This is super delicious. We're gonna just add a little bit of olive oil to our pita, just like that. And brush that on. And we're gonna to top that with a little bit of za'atar. And voila, here you go. Batevon, beef kebabs with marinated red onions, grilled pita, and fresh tomatoes. Thank you for joining me once again in Marat's Kitchen. I'd love to have you here and share new recipes with you, especially ones that are true to my heart, Russian, Mediterranean, with Jewish traditional foods. Please subscribe to Marat's Kitchen, like this video, so you can get an alert every time a new video is being posted. Love to have you here. It's gonna be beautiful new recipes. As the seasons roll on, there's always new recipes to accommodate the seasonal foods. Thank you once again, and we'll see you next time.